Now that we have built out our revolver, we can turn to other tranches to begin our cash flow sweep. Given that the term loan is the next most senior form of debt after the revolver, we're going to focus on it in this lesson as it is the next in line to use any residual cash flows to pay down debt. So to start building this out, let's just start with the easy part, and that is our ending and beginning balances, as these will corkscrew through here pretty seamlessly. So let's link this up to our sources of cash. This would be our ending balance at the beginning of, or at the end of 2019. So this is at our, our point of entry. And of course, as we know, beginning balance just links to ending. We can drag this over. And our ending balance in each period is going to be the sum of our beginning balance plus any changes over the period. So we'll drag that over as well. Oh, sorry, don't mind me. Now here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. So the first part we want to build out is our mandatory amortization section. Since this is, you know, this is a hard requirement before we have the luxury of, of servicing any optional debt. So to build this out, this is going to be a min formula. And I'll explain the logic behind this in a second, but we want to take the min of our, our beginning balance when we enter the transaction times our mandatory amortization percentage. And as you guys can see here, this is 2%. So, you know, this is much, this would not get us to full pay down by the end of the period. So you can sort of surmise this would be a term loan B, C, or D. A term loan A would require full amortization, most likely. So just one one side note I want to make here, um, as you guys, you know, to ingrain some, ingrain some of this knowledge. So what we're saying is we're taking the min of our mandatory amort in each year, um, or it's the min of either that or our beginning balance. And the reason we're doing this is it's really just a backstop. All we're trying to say is, okay, in each period we have to pay 494. That's our mandatory amor. But what happens if, you know, we pay down our balance and in the final year of our deal, we only have 300 of balance outstanding? Well, it's just saying, okay, then you're going to pay 300, right? Because you, if you're pay, you can't pay off more debt than you have already. So that's all that's for. Now getting to our optional pay down, what this is gonna be is it's again a negative min function. We're saying, okay, we're taking the min of our free cash flow available for optional pay down and any changes in our revolver or basically our beginning balance plus you know any manner mandatory amortization because this would come before any optional pay down. Again, this is just a backstop to say, okay, if our beginning balance is less than our free cash flow available for that pay down. We're not going to pay down more debt than we already have. So it's, again, it's just a backstop for that. And then the last thing we build in here is I multiply this by our yes no switch. And our yes no switch is just a one or a zero. I have it. I have it coded up, and I'll show you that in a second um, to show up as a yes or a no. But that's all it is. And this is just saying, okay, if we switched it to a no, then these would always zero out. And what, where this matters is, for example, in our subordinated debt and other debt tranches where we don't have optional prepayment, then you know you can never sweep debt in those cases. So it's just a nice toggle you know, for different transactions as you have different types of debt, it's very easy. So we can see we have a formula there. Let's copy paste that over. And we can see, okay, so by the end of this, we've paid down all of our debt. And this is again, so then the, the function's working because we have 14 billion of free cash flow, but only uh, what would this be? Yeah, only 9.4 billion of term loan left. So, you know, the formula is working. It's not making us pay down more than we actually have on there. Now, this is going to change as we start looping through more more forms of debt and, and finishing off our P and L here. But at least this is a good sign initially that this that our term loan is functioning.